I suppose there's another side of what it is that makes me grumpy lately so much is just sort of part of getting older. I mean, in school they try to teach you that, let's say, with uh, a novel uh, or some or a screenplay for a movie or whatever, right? That there's only really so many uh, plot, pl plot line types. There's only so many plot devices. You know, there, there's, there's a limited amount of things you can really do in a story. Um, you know, the, I mean, obviously the content itself can be quite different, but as far as the basics of building a, a story, um, yeah, there, there's only so many types of options and, um, but regardless of if you really learn and absorb those things, when you get older and you've seen enough stories and you've seen enough entertainment to go, oh, yeah, that again. Um, yeah, one way or another, you're going to see it. And when you get older, everything starts to kind of become that way. So many ideas that, that younger people are saying, oh, look, look at this. We, we've got the fresh new ideas. And I'm like, well, it, it, I guess it's kind of new. The, the veneer is new, but it's still some ideas people have been pushing for, for very many, many decades in one form or another. You know? Um, and a lot of times people don't think about what the... The end result, the, the, the eventuality, if, if whatever ideas that they're pushing, let's say it's political ideas, whatever ideas they're pushing, what is the logical conclusion to those ideas? You know, what, what is the eventual goal of those ideas? You know, are, are you willing to go just partially towards those things? You know, are you willing to compromise a bit? Or is it all or nothing? And, I mean, there might be some things you can't compromise, but you know, if there are typically bad results when you look all the way down the line, um, yeah, how do you stop those bad results from happening? What do you put into place? What sort of hybrid do you do you need to make for these ideas? And but I don't think you're, I don't think we're going to get younger people to think about that. Just like when I was younger, you know, there were older people trying to tell me a number of things that I didn't listen at the time. And now I, I look back and go, yeah, I guess I, I wish I would have listened. But lately it's just been, it's been hard to really, it's been hard to enjoy very much anymore because nothing seems, nothing is new. And I feel the same way about gaming and stuff. Yeah, there's there's really very little that's new. Now that we have all these graphics capabilities, um, it's harder to actually implement uh, uh, unusual ideas when 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 graphics, you know, when when you <laughs> when things were pretty abstract sometimes. You could have games that the entire thing is just based off of the fact that you can... You you have this new thing that you can do with the graphics. You know, some new pizzazzy effect or something, right? And it's like, oh, well, let's let's make a game based off of that effect. And, and, and lots of games were made that way. It makes me think about the way that I usually write music. You know, and what what's been kind of something that's been making it harder to write new music um, is uh, when I find a new sound that it's hey that sounds really cool what and suddenly I'll think oh that that could uh, could do something like this what would this sound like with this instrument well anyway you know so that's the way that a lot of games were created. 
you know, as we had new new ways of being able to manipulate graphics, uh, we had new types of gameplay. But at a certain point, you know, once you had these full-fledged 3D environments, it became a lot harder to come up with something new, a new concept, a new way. I mean, you get, what do you do? You know, what, what sort of abstract thing are you going to do? So it, it is harder. And, you know, the same thing has happened um, yeah, with music, too. You know, once, once you, you have all these capabilities, you know, look, look at how, how great some, of, some software has been over the past 20 years. You know, music software. Of course, I think they could go a lot further with interfaces, but, but uh, nevertheless, you know, with, with the stuff that's available now, um, yeah, it's, it's not like there's, there's some new, I mean, for, like I said, with, with my own writing, but uh, it's not like the, some new instrument is going to make people write differently now. You know, we've, 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 We've peaked in those areas, so people have to be more creative with things that, with that that have already with sounds and such that have already been established. And if they don't, well, then we just keep creating uh, stuff that sounds the same. But you know, just so many forms of entertainment are just man, especially movies that that action movies, man. God, it's just so boring. It's it's like, I, to me, most of these new, most new action movies are are like looking at a better uh, a better rendered uh, video game. You know, yeah, they want to keep you at the edge of your seat. Fine, you know, and, and there there are some that are done pretty well, but oh my goodness, but that's part of me getting older and just being bored with a lot of this stuff. You know, but then I wonder, you know, is is this really about me getting older? Or is this, am I experiencing a type of depression that I really, really should look into? You know, because I just haven't really been enjoying much of anything anymore. I'm just thinking about how I, I used to love going to Seattle. But, and, and, and it was especially somewhere that was very, that, that, I loved going to at night. But now it's so dangerous there. You know, even if I didn't have my camera with me, you know, I could still be some sort of a target. But if you have a camera, you have you have some camera with you like that, you're holding this thing up and you're yeah, you're you're I mean that's that's I I'm I'm a target. I, I it's it's like I have, you know, big old target on my back and front, right? It's like no. Um, I'm not going to chance doing that. And so many of the places that I used to really enjoy exploring more when it comes to trails, I don't even try in some cases because I know that it's going to lead to someone homeless and I don't want to disturb their, their, their areas. But, uh, man, I, we're going to be seeing some serious increase in people who are homeless, uh, you know, with the, uh, what do you call it, where uh, uh, people's, uh, you know, evictions were postponed. Uh, what, what is that called? Uh, yeah, that's going to be ending soon. In fact, I, I thought, I think it might even be today that it's ending. And so there's going to be a lot, it's going to be a lot more than even before. And... Man, do I feel fortunate. Um, you know, out of the habits formed out of the quarantines and such, it's made me scared to go to friends' houses. But then I'm also worried about, you know, there. there's so many things about myself that, that I, 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 over this past year, I, I've ended up looking at myself from afar and just finding there's just so many things I don't like about who I see when I look in the mirror. I don't mean, the, you know, visually, I just, I mean, who I am, what I've done to people, how I've reacted to so many situations. The worst one is how I get angry when 
I'm confused. It's always been a problem. I'm I'm just scared that that you know now that I see it, I feel helpless against it, because I, I I mean I can see it happening, and, and it's it's almost like it's almost like I'm a machine reacting to you know carrying out its programming versus me actually having you know free will, actual free will. It's like it's sometimes as if I'm watching a movie i'm i'm watching myself do something and i feel like i sometimes don't have the control and and i i know that i've hurt people you know emotionally not not physically but emotionally i've hurt people before out of some of this stuff and i just have fears that that's all i can offer to the world is hurt pain, discontent, anger, you know, to, to anyone that I've been, you know, mistreating lately, like in the comments and such, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm having a hard time accepting myself right now. I know I'll eventually get out of this mode. Even if I have to have professional help, you know, doing such, um, but uh, I, I'll eventually get out of this mode. I mean, who knows? What what if I had? What if it was something like I'm I'm experiencing low T or something? I mean, it's probably not low T. I, I it's just something that popped in my head. So, but I I've I've kind of been pushing away my friends. Not, I, I'm not, not in a way where I, I'm saying like awful things to them or anything, but you know, time wise, I, 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 I feel like I've been, what is that word for? They've been shadowing them. I've been ghosting them. I've been, you know, I, I, it has nothing to do with them, but, but from their perspective, that's probably what I'm doing to them. And, 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 and I just, I'm not trying, I, I don't want to push them away. But I guess I'm scared that, that all I have to offer right now is negativity. And, and I just don't want to be a burden on anyone, you know. Of course, I'm being a burden on anyone that's watching this video. So, but you know, this isn't the video I wanted to make. I was, uh tinkering around with, uh, you know, just, just trying to be kind of silly, and I had some, a few clips from things I was finding on BitChute and uh, uh, Odyssey, and uh, I just thought it would be funny to clip a few things together, but I don't know. I don't have, I, just right now, just at this particular moment, I just don't, I, I don't have much faith that my brand of silly will be handled well. It, it, it will probably seem too childish or childlike or whatever, right? So. But I'll probably work on it some more. Other things that, that's, that get to me right now is, uh, you know, I've, I, I get, I, I've talked about this before, I get a lot of the, you know, what if the right-wingers are right about um, morality? and uh, what's good or bad for society. And what if re I really am a representation of uh, what destroys societies? What if they're right that if I, you know, if people like myself are normalized, um, that it's going to just like ruin everything somehow? And I can see by the way that I'm wording it, it's just like, yeah, that's that's ridiculous. Why would I why would I believe something like that? But uh, this this stuff is has just been so ingrained. Also, you know, what if what if uh, religious values are right? What if what if they're right? If they're right, then I have no value at all, and that's hard to deal with. So I suppose some of my 
why I've, I've been getting angry so much is if I'm not right about some of the things that I talk about, then it translates to me having no worth. So I end up fighting for the things that I believe with, I mean, verbally anyway, with everything that I have. And I end up putting a lot of emotion into it because I, I do feel that my existence is, my existence, my, just my very existence is at risk. And not because I think someone else is going to kill me or something, but I worry that I will go into a deep depression that I may not be able to recover from. And it's weird because I, I have, at this point in my life, I, I have more to be thankful for than, than, than I ever have. And yet I feel like this. And it, it just, it makes me think about, you know, there, uh, I mean, there, there are people who, who try to claim that, uh, Oh well, if someone is really successful and they're and they're 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 gaining a lot of popularity, then you know uh, it's ridiculous for someone to fe- to to be that depressed about anything. You know, uh, they're just they're just self centered or whatever. And I think about Robin Williams. Robin Williams was doing quite well for himself when he killed himself. When it comes to you know financially. And how he was viewed across the world, how he was viewed. And, you know, and some of it too is when you're more known, when you're more popular, it can make it even harder at times because it's like you can feel all of these people saying, well, you have all of this stuff. You should feel like this. You should be feeling these things. And when you don't, it, it feels like, it feels like I'm letting down all these people. But now we've got the Delta thing going around. And it's looking like we might end up in a position where people have to wear masks again. And possibly starting the quarantine stuff again. And we can watch our economy tank again. Not that, I, I mean, I understand we, we need to do what needs to be done, but... Uh, if if our economy tanks again like that, and, and we're already struck, we're still struggling now. I don't know how if we could take it. Anyway, I I'll I'll get out of this muck. I'll get out of this muck. It just it's just you know one way or another. It it just might take a while. And and I'm sorry to for any mistreatment that I've that I've had towards anyone, you know, just recently, you know, past month or so. Anyway, if you've stuck around, thanks for watching.